Imagine waking up in 2030 and the India you see looks completely different. Bullet trains crossing states in minutes, nuclear reactors powering entire cities, Targo trains moving faster than cars, huge airports handling more travelers than ever before, and tunnels built through mountains that once looked impossible. This future is not far away. It has been built right now. Please stick to the end to find out the honorary mentions that didn't make the main list, but are equally game-changing. And if you're new here, welcome to Periscope, where we make sense of India's biggest projects, policies, and long-term national transformations. Let's begin. Mumbai and the Bad Bullet Train India's first bullet train is not just a transport upgrade. It marks the beginning of a new era. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor will run at 320 km per hour, cutting travel time from 9 hours to just a little over 2 hours. It uses Japan's world famous Shintansen technology, known for its speed, safety, and reliability. The project includes 12 stations across Maharashtra and Gujarat and India's first undersea tunnel near Thane Creek. By 2030, the first corridor will be operational. More importantly, it will set the stage for a national high-speed rail network that will reshape how people travel and how businesses operate. Mega Airports, Navi Mumbai and Jewar. India is becoming one of the world's biggest aviation markets and two massive airports are being built to handle future demand. Navi Mumbai International Airport will eventually handle 90 million passengers a year, with two full-length runways and direct connectivity to major infrastructure like the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link. Jewar Airport or Noida International Airport will become India's largest airport once complete, with a capacity of 70 million passengers annually. It is designed to be a major cargo hub boosting industries across Uttar Pradesh and NCR. By 2030, these two airports will dramatically improve India's global connectivity, reduce congestion, and supercharge trade and tourism. India's nuclear power shift, small modular reactors. India's nuclear strategy is undergoing a major shift. Instead of focusing mainly on fast breeder or thorium reactors, the new plan prioritizes small modular reactors, SMRS, developed with France and other global partners. SMRs can be built faster, require less land, and offer greater safety. They can be deployed across multiple locations at once, making nuclear expansion more efficient and resilient. But one major step remains. India needs to amend the Nuclear Liability Act, which currently places heavy long-term responsibility on foreign suppliers. Once this is resolved, India will be able to bring advanced SMR technology into the country. By 2030, SMRs will begin playing a visible role in India's clean and reliable energy ecosystem. IMEC – India Middle East Europe Corridor The India Middle East Europe Corridor is one of the most important geo-economic projects of our time. It links India to Europe through the Middle East using a network of ports, railways, and shipping routes. Once fully operational, goods from India will reach Europe nearly 40% faster. But IMEC is more than infrastructure. It is a strategic shift, diversifying India's trade routes, reducing dependence on choke points, and strengthening partnerships with the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Greece, Italy, and others. By 2030, key parts of INEC will begin functioning, giving India a direct commercial bridge to Europe for decades to come. Dedicated Freight Corridors India's freight system has always faced one major problem. Passenger trains and goods trains share the same tracks. This slows everything down. Dedicated freight corridors change that completely. These are high-speed rail highways built only for cargo trains. The eastern and western BFCs are nearing completion. The western DFC links Delhi to Mumbai's ports. The eastern BFC boosts coal movement, 
container transport and regional logistics across the north and east. The impact will be enormous. Faster delivery times, cheaper logistics, fewer trucks of highways and improved global competitiveness. And that's just the beginning. Future corridors, east coast, north south, east west and southern will redefine industrial India by 2030. Rise of India's shipbuilding industry. India aims to become a major shipbuilding nation by 2030. With the world seeking alternatives to China and South Korea, India's shipyards in Gujarat, Kerala, Goa, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal are rapidly expanding. They are already building advanced navy ships, submarines, tankers and large commercial vessels. The goal is to raise India's global shipbuilding share from 1% to 5% by 2030. This means lakhs of jobs, stronger naval capability and deeper integration into global maritime supply chains. India's Green Hydrogen Mission The world is shifting toward clean energy and India wants to lead that transformation. The Green Hydrogen Mission aims to make India one of the world's top producers and exporters of green hydrogen by 2030. Large electrolysis plants, hydrogen hubs and export terminals are already being planned on both coasts. Companies like Reliance, Adani and NTPC along with global partners are investing heavily to build this new energy economy. By 2030, India doesn't just want to meet its own clean fuel needs. It wants to export green hydrogen to the world. Defence Industrial Corridors India is building a modern defence manufacturing ecosystem through two mega corridors, one in Uttar Pradesh and one in Tamil Nadu. These corridors bring industry, research institutions and startups together to develop advanced technologies for the future. India's long-term goal is clear. Reduce defence imports, boost domestic production and become one of the world's top arms exporters by 2030. Kashmir's Nega Infrastructure Upgrade Kashmir is now home to some of India's most impressive engineering achievements. The Adal Tunnel has transformed access to Lahore Spiti and Leh. The Chanab Bridge, the world's highest railway bridge, will integrate Kashmir fully into India's rail network. The Zojina Tunnel will allow all-weather travel between Srinagar and Leh and the Z-Morph Tunnel showcases futuristic Himalayan tunneling technology. By 2030, these projects will reshape mobility, tourism and economic opportunities across Kashmir. India's Semiconductor Revolution For decades, India excelled in software but lagged in hardware. That is changing. India is building large chip fabrication plants, packaging units and design centers. Companies like Tata, Micron and Foxconn are already investing. These fabs will support industries like electronics, EVs, aerospace, telecom and AI. By 2030, India wants to reduce dependence on imported chips and become a global semiconductor supplier. Honorary mentions India's Space Station Major modules will be ready by 2030 pushing India into long-term human spaceflight. Matsyayan Underwater Vehicle Capable of diving 6,000 meters for deep-sea exploration. National Quantum Mission Building India's quantum computers, secure communication systems and next-gen sensors. RRTS and Namo Bharat trains. Delhi Merit Line will redefine regional travel. Undersea Internet Cables boosting India's data center and cloud economy with faster, more secure connectivity. India is building more in one decade than earlier generations saw in 50 years. Bullet trains, MEDA airports, SMRs, IMEC, freight corridors, shipyards, hydrogen hubs, Defence Clusters Himalayan Tunnels Semiconductor Fabs 
all of them are pieces of a much larger national vision. And at Telescope, we believe that understanding these projects is the key to understanding India's next chapter. Tell me in the comments, which project do you think will change India the most by 2030? I'm reading every answer.